Oh, okay. I don't think I looked for these when I was in an order, so I hope I didn't miss one or at least too many. Hmm. The trees don't seem very healthy lately. There are less bugs and things, even though it's summer. It's often said that things like this pretend natural catastrophe. I don't want to believe superstitions like that are true, but you know. I mean, they have said that it's colder, despite being summer. Not entirely sure what that might mean at the mo. <laughs> well, there's our inn. Hmm. I can't believe it's been so hard for me to get in touch. I wonder where Elliot could be right now. Just where are those two? Those two? Hey, isn't she? Yes, we met her in the cathedral back when we infiltrated the city. Yeah, say that out loud. <laughs> You did, did you? When I rushed over here before, I didn't come near the old capital. Talk about a near miss. Wait, what? You guys? <laughs> hey, sis! It's been a while! It's been forever since we've been able to get in touch. It's good to see you're alright. Wait, what? Shut the front door! I see. I was right when I thought I'd seen that hair color before. Elliot? Is that you, Elliot? It really is you! I can't believe it! And who's that with the gray hair? Wait, it couldn't be! Uh, good to see you, Fiona. Let's just say... a lot has happened. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Elliot's older sister, Fiona Craig. Who would have thought those kids I met were the new Class 7? I've heard oh so much about you. Perhaps it was the will of the goddess that we crossed paths the way we did. So you're Elliot's big sister, huh? I ought to have read her dossier back during the Civil War, but I suppose my memory must have failed when we met. <laughs> must be fate we met like this. When I became a bracer and came out to the capital, she helped both me and Sarah out a ton. <laughs> I remember that. Machias and I have met with her several times since the Civil War. The fact that it only took a single train ride to reach the capital made it easy to meet up. Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to see her since I left for the branch campus, though. I've been so busy. There's been no time for niceties, but I'm glad to see you're all well. Class 7 went missing, and then before I knew it, both of you were caught up in the chaos. That's a relief to see you again. I'm sorry I made you worry. Oh, it's fine, really. All that matters is that you and Class 7 are okay. Now, if only we knew what was going on with Father and Nightheart. Are they missing? I know those names. Father, especially. <laughs> General Craig, who commands the 4th Armored Division. And Lieutenant Colonel Nightheart, who is in the same class as my brother. Thinking back... You did, say, uh, you did say something about trying to go to Drakner Fortress, didn't you? Hmm. It sounds like searching for Elliot isn't the only reason you came to St. Ark. That's right. In truth, I haven't been able to get, uh, get in contact with Father or Nightheart for some time as well. Inspections in the area around the fortress have gotten very strict, and I haven't been able to make it through to check on them. Even with war on the horizon, it is a bit concerning for them to go totally incommun... <laughs> incommun... <laughs> Incommunicado. Uh, hmm. I think the answer lies in why security has been strengthened so much around the fortress right now. Yeah, maybe it's some connection with what's going on at the mansion. Hmm? What do you mean? As a matter of fact, explained. I can't believe it. Fiona, do you have any more info that might be useful for us? I certainly did gather a lot of information while trying to find out about you. But I'm sorry to say, this is the first I've heard of uh, so much as a whisper of what you just told me. Absolutely nothing. That in itself is conspicuous. It's not the sort of thing they'd broadcast, but it being that secret doesn't sit right with me. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe no one's here. There must be a reason why. I just have no idea what that could be. The clock's ticking, people. 
Let's get moving and see what we can find out. I think that's our only option right now. Fiona, I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Of course. The same goes for all of you. Be careful. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. All right. Well, nice seeing you, Fiona. Yeah. Thanks for the offer. Yeah, don't put yourself in danger. I don't want you to be the one showing up to, like, take on enemies so we can go forward. I don't think you might... I don't think you're the sort that would be, um... well-conditioned to, uh, do stuff for that. And... Yeah, same as before. Marcus High Arms Mansion is ahead. You couldn't get in before, right? That's right. And with the Imperial Defense Force still around, it'll likely be difficult to get close this time as well. There must be a way inside somehow. How dare you! Just who do you think I am? That? Yeah, sounds like him. <sighs> Th that's... Great, Uncle. We haven't seen Marcus Ballard since Ordis. May have been a while, but he's no less arrogant. I told you, I'm only hiding out to do an inspection of the so-called spinning down. If it's not spinning when I get there, then I there will be heads rolling and spinning. It shouldn't be an issue for me to do so, should it? Please leave inspections and other public duties to us. We're on surveillance detail, and we'll handle all of it. We need you to do the duties only you can do. What duties? I just start uh, produce this paperwork every minute of the day. The city is way too boring. There needs to be a casino or a nightclub or something. No! Unhand me! How long must I live in the confines of boredom? Well, that's why he's so interested in the performing arts. He's just fucking bored out of his mind. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm speechless. Imagine if boredom was the only thing you had to worry about in this time. Uh, he's not what I thought he'd be like. Yes, and the Imperial Defense Force is treating him callously, despite his supposed roles in terms of supervisor. I think I'm starting to get the real picture. About how St. Ark, Marcus Ballot, and the Imperial Defense Force function together. Right. If he just get past that, then... He seems fairly independent at the very least, so... There's a chance his performers might not go under this uh, amount of scrutiny because it's just like performing for him, that sort of thing. Uh, he's not acting independently at all. He's merely a figurehead. It's the IDF that has real power here. Uh, they're all call uh, they're calling all the shots, and no one can even hold them responsible for what they're doing. Almost makes me feel sorry for Balin. Eh. <laughs> Almost. Uh, well, either way, we'll need to get inside the mansion. The issue is how. About that, I have an idea. Oh. Really? Well, let's hear it. <laughs> I can't guarantee it'll work. Is there somewhere we can talk in private? Uh, avoid prying eyes. Temporary guild. Sure, can do that. So I stopped by the mall over here. First, and look what we have here. This is now available. Apparently it was a quest. Uh, what do we do now? Okay, same things they were saying before. Excuse us, something wrong. Monster below, of course. It should be more precise, he ran away. It's the first time I've ever seen Kaiser dice like this. I don't think I bet on him. I see. You guys must be with nines, right? It's exactly right. What fortuitous timing to see someone acquainted with our club. I actually have a friend in the riding club uh, you supply horses to. I bought that for, so it is you guys. Best time for catching up, Albert. Okay, you're looking for your horse that ran away. Don't understand what happened ourselves. Certainly looks scared. But we saw just as much anger in him, too. To be honest, he's been acting rather strangely lately in general. His whole shift in mood started about a week ago. Is he, is he getting affected by the curse? Just out of nowhere, he let out the super whiny and went, uh, the super loud whine -y. Is that a noun? Wouldn't it be wine? Whatever. Uh, and went just totally crazy. Then he bolted straight out of town. I can't just stand here. I'm gonna go out and find him. It's useless wonder. Wait, is his name Wonder? Kaiser Dice has gone out of control. If he sees you, he'll hurt you. Sound of things... Really? 
the horse must have fallen to the curse. An interesting idea. Uh, the situation would be rather difficult for them to manage. We've used horses from nines before. We should try to lend them a hand if we can. Agree. Yeah, that's fine. Do this before we do anything significant uh, for the stuff in town. Okay, let's find this horse. Oh, looky there. Is he eating it? Oh, don't tell me. Is that what I think it is? It's eating the black chloroma grass. This must be the horse we heard about. Fan out, surround it, and I'll take the rear. Just gonna keep going until it gets the... It appears this task will not be simple. Ah, so much for sneaking up on it. Come on, let's go. Do what I can as soon as I take a quick detour. Uh, Kurt Mise, Fee Crow. Obviously have to do later. Okay. Good thing I found it, at least. What now? Huh. Huh? That's... Big. And clearly purposely hidden. Is that a Goliath? I, I think it's the Imperial Army's latest model. A Goliath Noah. But what's it doing here? I might have heard about this. There's a Panzer sold out that went berserk and had to be decommissioned. This must be it. Wait, is this the thing that happened with Altina? No way. I find myself reminded of that particular event at the branch campus. Right. I'm sure that whole thing was planned by certain people. There's no way it was just some random malfunction. It does not appear damaged in any way. If you'd like, I could perform a more detailed analysis. Okay. You're good with it, right? Are you sure that's a good idea, Ali? I mean, I sort of doubt we can take it with us, right? Yes, it can malfunction and put you in danger again. It'll be fine. Let's believe in Altina. It will be fine. I won't fall under its influence like last time. Whatever was controlling it before is gone now. Hmm. Some, tra uh, some traces still remain as bugs in the control system. Clam Slayus, Arcadius Mo. I'll be purging the irregularities. I require your support. Everything will be fine. I will succeed. Okay. He even moved it. Okay. So, it should work fine now. Yes, the cause of the malfunction has been removed. I've also de uh, deleted any remaining bugs in the system. We should be able to make full use of it in battle. I'm just gonna note, bugs don't work that way, but okay. You don't just delete. <laughs> well, that's amazing. You're so awesome, Allie! You did a great job, Altina. Taking it with us might be a little difficult, though. Maybe if we use Valimar, we can summon it only when we need it. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll be counting on you, Altina. Of course, I won't let you down. I'm glad that that went well. Really? only be used once for battle consumes a lot of EP. It cannot be used in battles against human opponent. Okay, so, okay, so, I, I'm guessing she won't be able to use it in a... It, it's like all the other ones, okay, probably, right? You can't use it in actual, like... Uh, maybe, well, she might be able to use it in, like, an actual... Treasure uh, Loki. Panzer Soul that fight, but... It's more a thing to use as a craft. Okay. Elliot Gaius. Could have brought Gaius with. Did not. There's someone up there. How do I get up there? I can see it on the freaking map. Is is there a way I can at least see up there? Maybe? No. 
There's still someone up there, though. It, like, explicitly calls it out on the mini-map. Okay, well, the fence fell. I wonder how long it's been like this. Looks like it was only put up recently. Hasn't had any time to get rusty, and look at this. Brown hair. Yeah, that could be from the host, uh, horse we're looking for. Looks like it ran off in that direction. We should follow the tracks. Can't let it run around like this. Right. Everybody, be prepared for anything. Like it transforming to a giant demonic horse. I wouldn't be... I actually would not be surprised if it turned out that way somehow. Ooh, I wonder if this will take us to where they are. Maybe that, maybe that little thing that we saw was the horse. And the reason it was below, not above. Maybe. Big ol' maybe. I don't remember ever being in this area before, though. Huh. Yeah, it probably was. We've got to, uh, we've got to corner it! I'm quite curious as to what a dyed black uh, Blair Magress would do to an animal. Everyone get back. Demon horse! <laughs> it did! It really did! Is that still the horse, or did it summon something else? The horse turned into a monster? What a disturbing transformation. Yeah, it's almost like a curse, I'd say. We can talk about it later. We need to strike before it escapes. Doesn't even feel like the same request. But we might be able to set things right. This one's strong. Be careful. Hello. Let's go. Now! Too slow! Very well. Ha. Very well. Uh, yes, yeah, blind's an option. Uh, there! Take this! Now! Too slow! My turn. Arcus, activate. Here I go! Here I go. Ha. Now. An opening. <laughs> predictable. Strength. Indeed predictable. An opening. Yeah. Let's go. Please move a little bit to the side and spread Very out a well. little bit. My apologies. I'll do my best. Analyzing enemy unit. Analysis complete. <laughs> Tainted Stallion. A horse owned by the Nines Riding Club, which mutated into a raging monster after eating Clara McGrath. Has the government been trying this on humans at all? I wonder. Oh, he's actually, is eating it just like taking that stuff, like the pills and stuff like that? It has, maybe that is literally the same demonization. Maybe that's literally the same thing we saw back at Grossbell. Just from a Very different well. source. <laughs> Try and see through this. Ha! Now! An opening! I shall go. Arcus, activate. I'm up! Hold fast! I'm up! It's down! Too slow! Take this! Yeah! Sorry, take over! Leave it to me! Looking to... Blind it again! Uh, there! Nah. Yeah! Here I go! Ha. Now! An opening! I shall go! Arcus, activate! Ha! Sky rendering how? Take this! Intriguing! Now. Too slow! 
My duty calls. She is blinded, so... Let's see how this goes. Yeah. It still hits. Good. Now. Switch. Leave it to me. There. <laughs> well, look at that. You did such a good job, Yuna. Stats updated. <laughs> I grew a little. Really? That is a threatening demon horse, though, my goodness. It's calmed down a bit. Instructor, what should we do? Um, should we finish it off? N wait a minute. Do you mind if I try something? Down. Remedy Fantasia! The miasma is disappearing. Uh. Trying to remember if there's ways for the demonization to go back to normal back in, um. Cross spell. Like, did we leave normal bodies on the ground at some point after we defeated them, or... I don't remember. It's hard to believe, but yeah, it looks like it, was, uh, it went back to normal, yeah. Whew. I'm glad that worked. Hearing a curse with a song. I never thought such a thing could be possible. Intriguing thought. I guess it would have to do with the senses, at the very least. As to why... Hmm... I guess, how does your Remedy Fantasia work? <laughs> That's another question. How does it heal in the first place? To be honest, I wasn't sure it would work, but I figured I, it was uh, worth a try at least. Nice job, Elliot. It feels like we've witnessed a true miracle here today. Uh, thanks. At least now we can face its owner with a clear conscience. Right. Let's make our way back to St. Ark. We need to get Kaiser Dice back to Nines as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Interesting, though. I can't express our thanks enough to you all. For our Kaiser Dice back to us safe and sound. He's been back to his old bright self. How do you bring him around? Oh, you know, trade secret. We're not completely sure ourselves, actually. He's a little scratched up, but I don't think he has any serious injuries. You're right, with a little rest, he'll be up and galloping again in no time. Thank you. Thank you again so much. I'm going to pay a lot more attention to Kaiser Dice from now on. I think that'd be for the best. Just make sure he doesn't eat it. <laughs> eat those flowers again. Or the grass. Uh, if there's anything else, just let our friend know. We've really uh, got to work together. We've really got to work together at a time like this. True, we do live in difficult times as of late. That said, you're free to use dinosaurs as much as you like. Cool. Cool. Hmm. S stop eating the Pleroma grass. Does it taste good? I sort of want to try it now. Hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't. Right? I shouldn't. I definitely should not. Okay. Don't tell me there's going to be someone in there again. Well, it looks like the Provisional Guild branch off is still intact, at least. The Imperial Defense Force's mark must have been off. It's been a while since Kyrie and the others were in here. Indeed. And no one's used it since they left. You had some sort of idea for how to get in the mansion, didn't you, Elliot? Yeah, that's right. You ready for me to get into the details? Once you enter the Guild branch office, the main story will progress and your investigation of the town will conclude. All quests and sub-events that you have yet to complete will disappear. Uh, ahead may be difficult to recommend that you'll be fully prepared before proceeding. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I've forgotten to look for stuff. I wasn't able to get that. There was like one gift that I wasn't able to get because I couldn't find the uh, because it was an exchange one. I couldn't find the other thing, but hopefully I'll have a chance to come back here at some point. Now, yeah, let's just go. I think if I can beat the cryptid at this point, I can beat the other ones. 
Uh, with that, Reen and the others entered the temporary guild branch office. They then settled in and listened to Elliot's idea. A performance? I mean, technically, Reen's played the guitar before, right? Yep, that's what I came up with. Sneaking into the mansion would be no easy feat. So, what if we got Marquis Ballad himself to let us in? Do you think we could pull that off? Oh, we should have brought all the people that were related to the band. Back in the day. Who all played what? I don't remember. It's been a while. There's quite a few people that were dancers and... I think a couple singers, but... The people that actually played instruments, I think, were Reen and... I want to say Usus and... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't remember. It's been a while since I even thought about that. Do you think we could pull that off? Hmm. And they do summon dancers and other performers to the mansion. And the interim supervisor has apparently been rather stressed as of late. So it's a way to let him blow off some steam that the Imperial Defense Force turn a blind eye to. The power of music might just come through for us after all. Alright, well, our best shot on that is with you, Elliot. Kind of famous at this point, though. Isn't it risky to put yourself out there? It is. I might stick out like a sore thumb to get apprehended by the uh, Imperial Defense Force if things go south. But I won't have some faith. The Empire is being dragged by the forces of conflict and the curse, it's, and it's stagnating as a result. But music can't be bound by anything. In fact, it could breathe fresh life back into all those who listen. Oh, hell yeah. So, the more I accept the chance to perform, none of you have to take that risk. If it goes well, then that's just perfect. But, even if the plan fails... Let me stop you right there. You're starting to sound like Instructor Reen. We're going to help you out no matter what. Only now do I understand the beauty uh, of the performance I attended. Enough has been gambled. What matters now is how much of a success this turns out to be. You can't think that we'd let you go it alone, would you? That's right. I'll pitch in what little I can to the performance, too. So let's do this, Elliot. Guys, thank you. <laughs> I guess that was kind of rude of me to just skip over you guys like that. All right, then, Reen. You've been playing the loot recently, right? Wait, he has. Uh, yeah. I mean, at least when I've had a chance since the Civil War. Well, with all we've got on the line, failure's not an option here. So, step one, we find instruments for everyone. Step two, we do a huge, rigorous cram session to get you all on the same level. And then, okay, we don't really have... Wait a minute. That's not going to be possible in such a short time frame. <laughs> that really did set him off, didn't it? Ah, uh, first much of a sweetheart as he is, he really snapped into high-strung band leader mode pretty quick. Well, we're not going to get anywhere without some level of skill. At least then, uh, a less than stellar concert is probably, I uh, probably won't even be a blip on the ballad's radar. <laughs> I want you to know in advance how bad I am. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't I lend you a hand? Uh, yeah, her. I, I thought she might be involved. Especially in terms of not putting a suspicious name on the map. Uh, as being publicly available as being in the city. Fiona! Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Also, I want to see Duvalet play an instrument. I will warn you in advance how bad I am. I need to see this happen now. Come on! <laughs> I know it's been a while, but I think we can still harmonize well together. After all, I did accompany you on your last record. Oh, in that case... Thanks! Now I'm feeling confident this performance will go off without a hitch. But if we really want to make sure... Hey, Altina. A little birdie told me something. About a certain rabbit with the voice of an angel. What now? Huh? I don't remember that ever being a thing. Wait, what? This is news to me, at the very least. Everyone headed to Cathedral Square, they received permission from the Archbishop, and got to work on their plan. Okay. Got that done, Quigley. Literally taking everything he can get. Uh, my desire to shop has just dried up lately. I can't get my mind uh, off what's to become of our future. Hmm?
Huh. Ah, uh, Rufus laughing. What a miracle. He sends the lightly's cry. I can swear I've heard this music before. Oh, and Elliot's hidden because he's wearing glasses. Okay, got it. They'll never recognize him. Okay, I assume that must have been like her Japanese voice actress or something. Thank you for listening. We're the Black Rabbit and the Red Haired Hares. And we hope you enjoyed our show. Oh, that's way too clever for its own good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bravo. That was just splendid. If that was her uh, English voice actress, then I d it did not make me feel like it was the same voice at the very least. Uh, what a pleasure! Such marvelous music goes straight to the heart of uh, these un and such marvelous music goes straight to the heart in these unsettled times. Indeed, it's like it chased away all of my unease. Excellent job! Thank you. That was amazing. Okay, there's a lot of them. And the provincial army's basically like. Keep an eye out for any good performers. I want to see Dooley perform. Somehow, he made it through without issues. I had no idea what to expect of the end result when I was instructed to sing without any prior warning. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. I just had faith that you could uh, run with it. You didn't even, like, do a quick practice in the guild area. Yeah, you were amazing, Allie. You held your own rather well for having two professionals beside you. That's right, great work, Altina. You really made the most of the principal's lessons. Thank you. Though I think I owe it to more than just her. You've grown so much too, Elliot. I know pursuing the path of music would be the perfect choice for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, but I've, got, I've still got a lot to learn. Pardon the interruption. Ah? Uh, that was quicker than I expected. We come bearing a message from our lord. The performance you gave was most impressive. There is something we would like to request of you. Mm -hmm. They were hustled into the Marquis's mansion through a back door without the idea of noticing. Fantastic. Why did they bring the entire group? We should have had everyone involved in some capacity, right? <laughs> we have a lot of people for a three-person group to be... whatever. <laughs> is she... Oh my goodness, he has to... Pardon the intrusion, my lord. We brought the guest you requested. He's gotta recognize. Ah, oh, at long last. So you're those musicians everyone's been talking about? Hi. <laughs> we take our leave now, my lord. We are at your call, should you require anything further. Now wait just a minute! Clown Soleus! <laughs> Truly, the most threatening. Did you do something? <gasps> to like block off sound. Audio insulation field activated. Though our mission plan was impromptu, it appears to have succeeded nonetheless. <laughs> Great! And now that we've made sure no one can hear you... <laughs> uh, now, now, Elliot. Tone it down a bit. Wait a moment. Your hair is different, but there's no doubt you're the Ashen Chevalier. And is that Mildine? And this tall critter that attacked the naval fortress. Oh, you remember me. I'm flattered. Nice to see you again, Marquis Ballad. Hi. <laughs> hmm. I fall completely into your trap. I'm losing my touch. What touch? Since the downfall of the Imperial Provincial Council, it's been a downhill slope, but damn it all! Was this all part of your scheme, Mildine? Hmm. I foresaw the fate of the Imperial Provincial Council and the timing, but the rest was all the result of your foolish actions, dear great uncle. Hmm. To think a distant grandniece would just return like that. And now what's to say she won't raise an army and revolt against the government? Mm -hmm. Yes, because that totally is just... <laughs> no one knows anything about that maybe happening. So, what do you want? 
I was destined for great things, but now I'm nothing more than a mere puppet of the government. Wow, what's with the attitude? I'm not getting you any... It's not gonna get you anywhere. That's for sure. Please, release the imprisoned members of Thor's and the Imperial Family at once. Thor's and the Imperial Family? <laughs> You're a fool! <sighs> what? What do you mean? What I mean is, they're not here. Although it would have been splendid if we could at least have greeted the princess when she arrived. Well, at least we confirmed that. I see. So the member of the Imperial family that uh, that's here must be Princess Alfin. But she isn't here. Although, according to our intelligence, she should have been. Indeed. We also expected her to be held in custody here. But on her journey via train from the capital, she made a stopover at a certain location. She was with an exchange student from the borough. Okay. Ah. An exchange student from the borough, that must be. And she traveled by train, that means she must be at. Trekner Fortress. Really? Okay. That's where Father in the 4th Armored Division is garrisoned. Well, okay, this got a lot more complicated then. Okay, we'll just show ourselves out. The group then retreated from the mansion, with Ballad promising not to stir up trouble on their way out the door. D did we at least give him a nice performance? Uh, to reward him for his, uh, compliance? They returned to the guild temporary branch, and after checking in with the Merkaba, start discussing their next move. So, we're getting for Drekner Fortress, huh? Man, what a big headache. Yeah, but it was so weird how willing he was to spill the beans to us, don't you think? I don't get the feeling he was lying. That may have just been his way of getting revenge. The crux of the matter is that they're holding Princess Elf in hostage. Not to mention Tita. Yes. I hope they're alright. Yeah, you have a significant connection to both of them, don't you, Musei? You're Tita's roommate and uh, good friends with Alfin and Elise, right? We have to assume that she'll be deported. And I imagine has some sort of connection to Estelle Bright's entering the Empire. Is it a diversion? Why would they send the princess along if they're just planning to deport her? I feel like... It feels like a trap. Now it makes sense why we couldn't get in contact with Father Nightheart. Yeah, but I'm having a hard, uh, uh, hard time understanding why they keep her Heinz and Tita at the fortress in the first place. Maybe they're anticipating our arrival. Yep, no doubt about it. You know, we should really lock the door. Oh, it's you. Because, I mean, it's not always going to be an ally listening on the other side of that, yeah? It. You came. Sarah got in contact with me. I'd been looking for Tita from here to Heimdall. Never thought I'd end up at some huge fortress like this. You collected information for the RMP then? Yep. Turns out the 4th Armored Division's got Tita and the Princess. Uh, from the RMP, my bad. But I'm willing to bet there's a good reason they didn't mind letting Ballad and the RMP spill the beans. You don't think? Are they testing us? Probably. They want to see what move Class 7 will take now. That definitely sounds like Dad. Nightheart, too. The Drekner Fortress, uh... The Drekner Fort... The Drekner Fortress is the strongest base of the Imperial Army, and located in the southern reach of Erebonia. Infiltration and hostage retrieval will prove extremely difficult. Can't back down from this now. They're holding Her Highness and Tina hostage as we speak. We have to do whatever it takes to see them in safety. We've counted our successes so far, both uh, here and in Ordis. So what could go wrong this time? Those two mean the world to me. I have no intention of giving up. Well, I plan on tagging along with you guys. I've got a duty as Tita's guardian, after all. <laughs> Just stick her mother after her. 
she'd probably just rampage through the freaking fortress and burn it all down, yeah? Plus, this ain't my first time breaking into military fort. What's that device you've got there? I assume you have an idea of how to use it. <laughs> not a little, not a, like, not a single one. I was hoping you could explain it. <laughs> no, yeah, but it's got multiple steps. Just hang tight. I've got y'all covered. So is this going to be like when we, uh, snuck into, I don't even remember it's for the fortress name, moments later. <laughs> Literally moments later. Oh, in a different location, okay. Oh, is that Alan? You must be the delivery people. The St. Art Express at your service. We brought you something from the department store. Count all time must have ordered something. Here, let me take a look. Well, if this is moments later, I'm severely doubting we're inside. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. By the way, have either of you received your draft cards? Nope, we're still in the clear. We really lucked out. You lucked out? Is it not the duty of all young Imperial men to protect their country in times of crisis? How dare you make a mockery of your countrymen, who have already been called to the front by calling yourselves lucky not to join them. Uh, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean it like that. Huh, <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, he's on edge. <laughs> Sir, our biosensor is picking something up. What? What is the meaning of this? Huh? Well, that doesn't make any sense, there's no way. This is literally moments later, right? There must be some mistake. Just, an that's enough out of the both of you. Just open the damn thing. If I remember correctly, how it happened in Sky was they something exactly like this happened and it was like a cat, right? Right away. Oh, hey, Celine. Meow. Meow. We can purposely do it this time. And there's like a false back. Oh, is that, that's how it worked, right? There's like, we gave them a false positive by saying like, oh, it's a cat. And then there's like a false back. A cat? What's that doing in here? Sorry, it must have gotten mixed in with our shipment somehow. How can you mix in a cat? Well, whatever. Check the rest of the containers. Yes, sir. How thoroughly are you going to do it? Cat aside, everything appears to be in order. Take it from here. You can take the cat with you. There is... This is not moments later. <laughs> there is no way this is moments later. <laughs> Was that a joke? I don't know. This is not moments later if we're getting Celine on, in, in on this in the first place. Come on then, little cat. being called in to play decoy, but good luck in there, everyone. Okay. This must be exactly what we did at, um... I think it started with an L, but I really can't remember what that fortress was called in, uh, the burl. Now, how did we get out? How did we get out in Sky? I don't remember. I feel like we didn't. And that was part of it. Uh, we're in! I'm out of breath. This isn't how I would imagine it would have been. I take it that the device you use to block the biosensors, uh, I take it that the device you use block the biosensors from detecting us. Yeah, I didn't want. The sensor blocker is a miniaturized version of an invention T's grandfather put together. 
You know, we did something similar a while back in the burrow, but that black cat's a little distraction came in handy too. For a moment there, I thought we'd been spotted. I guess we owe Selene. I'm so hung up on something uh, with Alan back there. He should be familiar with Selene, but he didn't even seem to recognize her. Oh, th that's a good point. Never thought of that. Uh, thought about that. He acted all creepy when we saw him in Crossbell too. Something's got to be affecting his mind, like with the soldiers. Like with the soldiers. The curse, no doubt. But for now, we've got other things to worry about, though. Yes, we do. Strangely empty here, don't you think? Yeah, even if this is the tradesman's entrance, I still expect some security around. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, we might as well keep going, right? We should be able to make our way through here. Are we getting Agate to the party? Yes, we are. Fantastic. What? Oh, that's mean. I can't... Oh, there, you force one into reserve? That's mean. That means I actually can't bring in both the people I want. Oh, that defeats the entire purpose. 